The Secret of Secrets The just announced Nobel Prizes for both chemistry and physics have gone to research related to the carbon atom. The Nobel Prize for Chemistry went to three scientists for developing a toolkit to manipulate carbon atoms, while the Physics Prize has gone to two Russian-born physicists for their study on the remarkable properties of graphene, an ultra-thin form of carbon. While announcing the Nobel Prize for Physics, the Royal Swedish Academy of Sciences stated, Carbon, the basis of all known life on Earth, has surprised us once again. They do not realize how loaded their statement is. For what we have seen in graphene, is only a small glimpse of the wonders, the carbon is capable of. Especially what awaits us in the very near future. Before we reveal the form of carbon that is going to change every aspect of our lives, so completely and so drastically, let us bring to your attention, a few other related occurrences, that have been making the news in the past weeks. Recently there was a flurry of concern, in the scientific circles, regarding the discovery of the sun's influence, on the decay of radioactive elements on Earth. It was found, that some kind of strange emissions, from the sun are causing matter, to mutate on Earth. Its influence on the decay rates, of elements like carbon-14, has been especially worrisome, and unexpected. Carbon, as previously stated, is the basic building block of life, as we know it. And carbon-12, is the most abundant form of carbon, accounting for about 99% of all known forms of carbon. It is the isotope of carbon, that consists of 6 protons, 6 electrons and 6 neutrons. 6, 6, 6. Does that sound familiar? After oxygen, the second most abundant element in the human body is carbon-12. On cremation, the body returns to its carbon-12 state. After hydrogen, helium and oxygen, which are all gases, carbon-12 is the most abundant element in the universe. Carbon-12 is also one of the five elements that make up the human DNA. Thus carbon-12 is indeed the most crucial element as far as life as we know today, is concerned. This is probably what the writer of the Revelation, meant when he said that 666, was the number of man, or number of the beast. It is the number of carbon-12, which is the basis of man's physical body, which ties him to the physical universe. This is especially significant, when we understand, what transmutation awaits this carbon-12, which will bestow man such superhuman powers, that will make every technological advancement till date, completely redundant. Every secret has a time. A time to reveal. A time to celebrate. It is now time to reveal the secret of all secrets. The secret of alchemy. The secret of the philosopher's stone, that which transmutes, in a symbolic sense, lead, to gold. The secret of the elixir of life. The secret of Amritha, or Ambrosia, the nectar of immortality. The secret of something we shall label, Ascension, since its primary function is to aid the coming Ascension. To form a portal into the higher dimension. The secret of Carbon-7. Carbon-7 is the hitherto undiscovered isotope of carbon, which has six electrons, six protons and only one neutron. It is the material equivalent of the Kundalini system as well as Metatron's cube. Like iron has the ability of sustaining a magnetic field around it, carbon-7 has the uncanny ability to carry hyperdimensional fields, such as fields of thought, around it. Thus it can amplify thought, and other hyperdimensional fields, just as the iron and copper in a transformer can amplify magnetic fields. Naturally, it is formed in the brains of spiritual adepts, when they have out-of-body experiences, or perform other supernatural phenomena, such as bilocation, or materialization etc. During such time the glow, or halo, that is formed, around the heads of these highly evolved beings, is actually due to the excess neutrons, produced when carbon-12, transmutes to carbon-7, inside their brains. However this carbon-7, quickly decays to other stabler forms of matter. Hence it is almost impossible, to detect carbon-7 directly in the human body. History and religion has offered us many clues, as to the identity of this most wondrous material, through cryptic notations, symbols, and enigmatic texts. But it had to veil it, in the most puzzling language, and symbols, 
since this knowledge, in the wrong hands, could mean the destruction of this planet. Such is its power. In that case, you may ask, why we are revealing it now, since the same risks are still prevalent. There are two main reasons for this revelation, at this point of time. 1. We are now at the very threshold, of the most significant shift humanity has ever experienced. It is the time for all secrets, to be revealed. We have been holding on to this secret, for a long time. And nature has spoken, through signs that the time for this secret too, has come too. Although the atomic structure and the properties of this wondrous material are revealed here, it is extremely difficult to synthesize carbon-7, in a laboratory, other than in expensive particle accelerators. In the Kundalini system, this 661 configuration is represented, by the male and female counterparts, of the six lower chakras, and the seventh chakra, which is the neutral Sayasrara. In Judaism, Metatron, who is considered to be God's mediator with man, is often represented by a cube formed by 13 circles, comprising of one central circle, surrounded by six inner and six outer circles. In Christianity, Da Vinci's famous Last Supper, that depicted a moment before Christ's crucifixion, and subsequent resurrection, and ascension, is a symbolic representation of the 661 configuration, where six apostles are on either side of Jesus Christ. It is interesting to note that both Kundalini, Metatron, and Christ are vehicles of ascension, albeit in different spiritual systems. This knowledge, is known to advanced civilizations, beyond our planet, who have been watching over us for millennia. The release of this information, at this point of time, is also meant to accelerate disclosure. This knowledge, with the power to amplify one's mind, will make all technological progress and economic systems, completely redundant, since in the age of manifestation, and abundance that awaits us post-2012, technology and money, will have no meaning. In the period post-disclosure, the conditioning of man, will take place, during which time, the collective mind of man, will undergo a quantum shift to expansiveness. A critical mass of humanity, will cross over from an egocentric, material life, to an egoless, love-filled, and spiritual life. The sun's activity during this time, will ramp up. The final transmutation, that will be affected by the sun, will be the transmutation of the carbon-12, in human DNA, into carbon-7. This will empower man, to survive the final double cataclysm, of the super flare pole shift, and migrate to the higher dimensional new earth. This is a timeline, that we must realize. The Secret of Secrets Part 2 The Signs and Signs of the Shift The Signs of the Shift In March this year, two American scientists, Jonas Murieka and Dejan Stokjevic, proposed a radical hypothesis in which they suggested the early universe contained fewer spatial dimensions than the three we see today. Known as the vanishing dimension hypothesis, they suggested that immediately following the Big Bang, the universe had only one spatial dimension plus one dimension of time. In other words, the extremely hot universe of that period was only a line. According to them, at some point as it cooled, a second spatial dimension appeared and it became a plane. Then, after further cooling and expansion, at some point the third dimension of space also appeared and it became the four-dimensional universe as we see today. And interestingly, it also proposes that sometime in future, our four-dimensional universe could even shift into a five-dimensional universe consisting of four dimension of space and one dimension of time. This hypothesis resolved many problems in cosmology, such as the universe's accelerated expansion 
incompatibility between relativity and quantum mechanics, dark energy, Higgs boson, etc. There was also some experimental evidence supporting their hypothesis. However, the scientists were unsure when the shift from a lower dimensional universe to a higher dimensional universe occurred. They suspected that it had to do with the energy levels passing a threshold. While I think that this hypothesis is perhaps the most elegant and satisfactory explanation of the evolution of our universe and even its possible future, I would like to propose an alternative as to how exactly this shift from a lower dimensional to a higher dimensional universe is triggered. I am not convinced that it is the energy levels of the universe that determine when a dimensional shift occurs. While a dimensional shift is a universal phenomenon, that is, it takes place simultaneously over the entire universe, energy levels are localized and vary from region to region. Hence, energy levels triggering a universal shift is unlikely. I think a universal shift from a lower to a higher dimension is triggered when the expanding universe closes in on itself and merges with the higher dimensional space that it encloses. For instance, a two-dimensional that is one space plus one time line universe expands in both directions. But there are minuscule imperfections to its trajectory of expansion. These imperfections ultimately contribute towards the curvature to this expansion and eventually the two ends of this line universe meet. It is at this point the line universe merges with the closed three-dimensional space that is two space plus one time space that it now encloses and spontaneously upgrades itself to an additional spatial dimension. Needless to say all matter within it also becomes three-dimensional since at the most fundamental levels matter is just a manifestation of space like the waves in an ocean. It would be worth noting that even string theory predicts 11 dimensions to space-time. The seven extra dimensions of space are too tiny and curled up in our present universe to have any impact. So a shift to a higher dimension would involve one of the curled up spatial dimensions becoming suddenly unwound and manifest. The expansion doesn't stop here. The planar universe thus formed again continues to expand. Again, the expansion curves in on itself and the planar universe merges with the four-dimensional space that is three space one plus one time that it encloses. And the spontaneous upgrade to our current four-dimensional universe happens. We are at this point now and our four-dimensional universe has been observed to be expanding. And the expansion is known to be accelerating. As in the previous instances, this expansion will at one time in the future close in on itself. The extremities of our universe will all come together. It is then that our spontaneous shift into the fifth dimension happens. The signs of the shift. I am not going to address the question as to when exactly this will happen, since I do not know. A billion years in the future a thousand years in the future, 2012, maybe. But I think the one consciousness that inhabits the deepest fold of our being, that is exactly same in you, me and everyone else, knows of this moment. It is now communicating to us through innumerable signs to prepare us for our future. Therefore, 
I think the shift is imminent. It will happen in our lifetime and in the blink of an eye. And what are these signs? One of the most enduring signs of the shift is the Ouroboros and its many variants prevalent in almost every ancient culture ranging from the Egyptian, Indian, Mayan, Aztec, Alchemy, Norse, Greek and Gnosticism to name a few. Yes, these signs have been there for ages but only now their message is being revealed. There have been interpretations to it being a representation of the cyclical nature of the universe which is also true. The shift ultimately is cyclical in nature ascending through worlds of higher and higher dimension before everything collapses back to a point of zero dimensions where even time does not exist. And again the cycle starts anew. The Ouroboros is clearly a spectacular representation of the shift. The extremities of the serpent that represent the universe meeting at a point triggering the universal ascension to the next higher dimension. Even at the most mundane levels of our existence, this transition is represented in the wedding ring that is worn on the day of marriage which marks the transition of an individual's life from being single to becoming a couple. The light filled diamond at the center of the ring is the meeting point, the point of the shift. The other signs are the crumbling of the old hierarchies and paradigms that is happening all around us. The earth and solar changes that are happening at this very moment. The many secrets that are suddenly being revealed. The shift and after. Will we survive the shift? If so, will we be the same? And what would life be like in the five-dimensional world? We will certainly survive the shift since we essentially are immortal beings. To be more accurate, we are the creator and the created. We are all the gods that have ever been imagined. We are one, a single immortal being having 7 billion experiences. So there is nothing to fear. Let it go with the flow. Realize this truth for it alone will liberate the I that is in you. In 5D universe our form will be completely different. We will be much less dense even now a part of our intangible selves like the mind and thoughts reside in higher dimensions. In 5D universe, our minds will still be in higher dimensions and hence still be intangible. But it will be far easier to communicate mentally. In fact, all communication will be mental. Compared to the current world, the opening up of one more spatial dimension will render our freedoms to be multiplied many times over. Abundance would be the norm and our light-filled forms will have the capacity to manifest. Our food would be light and nothing else. We will still have a lighter DNA, though composed of carbon-7, that can directly interact with and absorb light. Carbon-7 in the 5D universe will be stable. Money and technology would be redundant and hence meaningless. Will every single person in the current world ascend, you ask? It is a difficult question to answer, since it is a choice of the individual to merge into the lighter realm of 5D or to continue his addictions which he or she refuses to let go. Although this universe will cease, there are multiple universes of 4D and lesser that is willing to accommodate such souls and let them continue their, their addictions. How then can one guarantee a place in the 5D world? Realize that there is no separation between you and anyone else. 
love others and thus love yourself unconditionally serve without thought intention or pretension be simple it is an indescribably beautiful world that awaits us we would be beauty manifest let us prepare to ascend